at Safe Molson. Who served me and you in the 60s and 70s? I could name you a few. Remember Filo's, the chip shop, with a cafe at the rear? The waitress, Mrs Tucker, with Madam's Haywood and beer? Back when Terra News had tours and Mr Hunt brought the milk, Harry Nuttall sold socks, Anna Lake sold you silk. Stags wasn't just stags, they had Nolman and Dobbs. And Mr and Mrs Tapp had Sanders and Hobbs. There's Butchers Bowdens and Warren, Eastman and Clark. And Mrs Crook ran the cubs from that hut by the park. There was Frisbees for shoes, for drugs there was carry. For groceries, Ed Brooks, Ledger or Berry. Hannaford and Southcombe. T.H. Moore's on the square, and behind Burgess at Tobacconus, Mr. Squ Mr. Squires cut your hair. There was Barwicks for photos, insurance Mr. Price, Mr. Weber in the museum and the Hickman's Beach House. And if you was poorly or come out with a rash, there was Doctors Gledo and Franklin, Norris or Nash. Gregory's for eggs or a bird if you wish, Skinner's and Brooks's and Harris for fish. Rockies for girls and rivers for boys, Fewings and Liddens and Bakers for toys, Windsors and Taylors, Antles and Snows, Vickeries and Mannings, Marlows and Moles. Ladies went to Parsons for a permanent wave, and there's Williams and Mayor, there was Alfred and Shave. Elliot, Rogers and Manning, aka HRM, Coaches at Eastley, Sanders and Ben. Stuart Bass for pottery, there were Damons and Boars, there was Pratt's and then Ferrets, there was Mansfields and Shaws. And who would you turn to with your poorly chinchilla? Harkness, Barton and Hume or Blake, Wilson and Miller? The upholsterer, Mr Larson, just off New Road, Haynes and Cook's Cross along with Cundy and Hode. Belchers for paint to put on your walls, Loosemore the builders and Lethbridge's stores. Mr and Mrs Hutchison who ran the laundrette, Rayleigh's for coal, Bill Brown for a bet, Tim Abbott who reported for the journal no less, and Sid Latham who ran the old gospel press. For the lock survival, that was quite a big thing, the international folded and made way for sing. And if you learnt to drive in said motion, by whom were you taught? If it wasn't Jack Madge, it was probably Fred Short. There were squires at the honeycomb, Snell and Dyer in Spa, Hey Bill Smith in his hut if you want to park your car. Remember Ada Williamson, our First Lady Mayor, the day she led the floral dance at the Old English Fair. And Mr Stevens, the cobbler who I bet you forgot. And like Mary Carter's onions, I would say that shallot. They all served said Moulton, so picture a face, recall a name, and remember the place. And shop safe. Bye.